in today's video, man, I want to talk to the masses about bearing false witness. Let's talk about it. Praise to the Most High Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, there is a reason when an investigation goes on, you know, they're asking for witnesses. Tell me what part of the scenario or what part of that situation you witnessed. Man, you know, man, that's my homeboy, man. That's my day one, man. We've been rocking together for a long time. And my homeboy told me it happened. So you didn't actually witness anything? Oh, your testimony's useless. We can't use that. You know, Cheryl is my girl. We tight. We went to high school together. And she told me for X amount of years, man, her husband had been beating on her. And I know he has but you never, you never actually witnessed any of that? No, I never witnessed anything, but, I, but I, hope, I hope his trifling butt go to hell. That's an example of bearing false witness. Man, it's, bearing false witness can get so strategic to where you could be a part of a particular part of the scenario, but not a part of the whole part and still not have any skin in the game. Because you start speculating based upon what you thought happened when you only was privy to a witnessing a little bit of it. This is why news reporters, very crafty, news reporters, very crafty, they will say, yeah, we're, we're on the scenes live of where the murder happened. Happened. They weren't there when it was going down. And they're reporting news on what they know to be true. Okay, somebody died. Police are looking for a suspect. In your mind, they show you a picture and you're like, yep, he, I know he did it. False witness. You weren't there. News reporters wasn't there. Based upon their findings, they're looking for somebody that might have been there. That person might not have done it, but might can add some clarity to the situation because they were an eyewitness to the events that happened. Man, I often talk about, you know, people believing the words of a woman off rip society, the scale automatically teeters that way. I hear it oftentimes with leaders, uh, especially in what I do, anytime a rape is mentioned, you automatically got a man did it in mind because you've been programmed to think that way. I told you, man, a woman can say, man, he touched me, he did this, he did that, and everybody's going for it, bearing false witness. I know he did it. Did me this way back in the day. Hurt me and wronged me. I know he did it. And I'll tell you, even when you think you've got the evidence lined up, you know, a man or woman could do something heinous, you know, could, could, could kill 99 people. And then it come down to that 100th crime. Did he murder in cold blood this person? You might not have been there for any of them. You just heard from hearsay, hearsay. And then you'll say, well, he did 99 of them. I know he did that one. You bear false witness. You put a charge on him and that wasn't proven. The most high y'all's mind does not work like our doggone mind. Some of these men out here that's bearing false witness, you got too much time on your hands. Too much time on your hands 
tickling that keyboard and not laboring in love, not laboring righteously. Man, here's another one. Somebody can come up to you telling you that they was an eyewitness. Man, I was an eyewitness. I saw it. Happens all the time. But if you take that story and run with it and try to issue a charge that you didn't witness, you weren't an eyewitness to, bearing false witness again. Man, here's the thing on YouTube. This is, this is what happens. People get the testimony of somebody that was a witness to things and once they chop it up and, and, and put it on display, they'll be talking in a vein like they were there. Man, I've said this time and time again. Man, I hope Diddy didn't do the doggone stuff that they are accusing this man of. I can even point you in places where actions like those are unbecoming of a good man or a good woman. I can point you in places showing you that in the Bible, but saying, I know Diddy's guilty. I know he's it. That's bearing false witness. It's a sin. See, bearing false witness, you got a lot of people that's going to be found guilty of sin well before the matter gets adjudicated, well before the matter uh, goes through its process. All behind what somebody told you. You got to think, man, a woman scorned will put out taste, man, this man ain't no good and all of this. And then women will take the, take the bait, hook, line, and sinker. And you didn't doggone put it to say this man ain't no good. When oftentimes, even with the evidence, you know, I always tell you, people tell you the part of the story that makes them look good. I see that all the time in, in leadership and having to adjudicate matters. People tell you the part of the story that makes them look good, but it's those vital details they leave out. And that's the reason why if you are not an eyewitness in the room, oh yeah, I saw, I saw, you know, I saw, I was in the room and I saw this man do this with another man. And this was the moment I left up out of there. You got to think, man, some of these people will give eyewitness accounts, not being eyewitnesses, and they'll have so much detail. She'd be like, damn, what, what, if something was righteous in you, what would you, what would you be doing just hanging around to have all these details everywhere in the word, everywhere in the word, avoid such people, get away from these people, come out from these people, come out from among her, but you wanted to stick around just for a juicy story. You want to stick around. I tell you, man, it's the quickest way to stop gossip and false witnesses. Hey, is what you're telling me true? Ask these questions. Is what you're telling me true? Well, I heard it from such and such. I don't want to hear it. Does it bring shame to somebody else and you already know it's not the truth? don't want to hear it. What good does this add to my life or your life? It really don't add none, but I just thought you wanted to know. That's the quickest way you want to stop from uh, gossiping, bearing false witness. That's it right there. It's not true. Bring shame to somebody else if you're issuing it in the manner that they're already guilty. You see what I'm saying? It's all in, it's all in Words, words have weight. That's what a word says. You will give an account for every careless word you speak. There's a difference between saying, hypothetically, if he did do it, man, this is why that is wicked. Versus saying, I know he did it. No good. Dirty joker. A lot of people don't have context because they're a thousand miles away. They'll take statements from an eyewitness and then try to make eyewitness statements. Doesn't work like that. Legally and lawfully, according to the Most High Yah, doesn't work like that. 
I'm telling you, there's there's people right now in Israel that rather than choosing sides like they're doing, they need to charge it up and say, hey, I wasn't I wasn't a doggone part of it. It ain't got nothing to do with me. It's a difference between it's a difference between, you know, me sitting at the table, with my wife having a conversation, me knowing the full context and what my kids in the bedroom here. There are only uh, ear witnesses to certain part of it, but they didn't see the actions, the mannerism, all of that going on. Still not eyewitnesses. They're witnesses to overhearing something and then their mind warping what they thought they heard. You can break this down in so many different ways and it's very, uh, very critical. Somebody comes to you and say, you know, hey man, your husband is doing this, your wife is doing that. Oftentimes we don't test the spirit in that person to see was they an eyewitness. Oftentimes not. Women take the bait, hook, line, and sinker. I know he was no good. You had it in your heart. I know he was no good. And this woman could be, how many times we've seen it where a woman tell you something like that only to bait you and to steal your man? Because you believe the false witness. False witness sows lies and discord. Close to the Yah Ministries, kicking that thing, gun, barrel, straight.